Hola mundo, yo me llamo Señor Bellas y este video realmente es para mis estudiantes de Ethnel 4. Um, just to give you some background information, all of my Spanish classes at the end of the semester, they take um, a, an oral final test. And the oral, uh, the speaking final, really consists of, uh, I give them a big list of questions that contain some of the grammar concepts that we either practiced or learned this uh, semester. And uh, the questions I do give them ahead of time, and I give them a chance to uh, learn them, to practice them with one another. And then when it comes to time comes for their final, uh, what I'll do is I will randomly have them draw, say, like, I don't know, eight, maybe five or eight of these 20 questions out of a hat. And then I ask them the question, and they answer it. They do not get to see the question. They only get to hear it from me, and they do not get to write anything down. Uh, so it's all done based on hearing me ask the question and then, uh, coming up with the answer from their memory. So this is primarily going to be for my Spanish 4 students. If you're one of my listeners that does not take one of my classes, this um, this really has a uh, plethora of topics, grammatical topics, some of them being more advanced, some of them being easy. If you want to just try these out just for some practice, obviously you're more than welcome to. I will make this document that you see on the screen available to you in the description of the video. There's a link that will take you to it. So if you're uh, if you want to check that out or if you're one of my students and want to print it off, have at it. Uh, what I'll do first here is I'm going to I'll ask you the questions and I'll tell you what it means. Uh, and then what if what I would, would like you to do if you want to is see if you can come up with a correct answer to the question and then after that I will give you some possible answers for each of the 20 questions. So uh, we'll start here with para uno. Oh and by the way some of the questions have a two next to them like like this one right here. What that means is I want you to answer with at least two verbs. So like if the question says um, what do you like to do and has a two next to it I'd like you to say you know I like to eat and I like to do that or so if the question says what did you do last night I want you to tell me two things that you did last night. All right, uno, ¿qué sigues, estudiando? ¿Qué sigues estudiando en la escuela? So this means what do you continue to study at school? Dos, anoche, ¿qué estabas haciendo a las ocho? So last night, what were you doing at eight o'clock? Tres, ¿Conoces a alguien que sepa hablar 20 idiomas? Do you know anybody that, can, that knows how to speak 20 languages? Cuatro. ¿Qué esperabas que hubieran hecho tus amigos el año pasado? What were you hoping that your friends had done last year? Cinco. ¿Qué hacías anoche a las nueve? What were you doing last night at nine? Seis. Si yo te diera dinero, ¿lo habrías donado a la gente sin hogar? If I gave you money, would you have given it to the homeless? Siete. Mi casa es roja, ¿cómo es la tuya? My house is red, what's yours like? Ocho, ¿qué hiciste ayer? What did you do yesterday? Nueve, dentro de cinco días, ¿te habrás graduado? Within five days, will you have graduated? Diez, ¿quieres dar dinero a tu amigo? Uh, do you want to give money to your friend? And uh, try and respond with uh, two, two pronouns in your answer. Once. Después de graduarte, ¿qué son las primeras cosas que vas a hacer? After graduating, what are the first things you're going to do? Doce. ¿Prefieres películas cómicas o de acción? Do you prefer funny movies or action movies? Respond with nominalization. Trece. ¿Hiciste la tarea de matemáticas o la tarea de español? Did you do the math homework or the Spanish homework? Again, respond with nominalization. Catorce. ¿Qué quieren tus maestros que hagas en la clase? What do you your teachers want you to do in class. Quince. ¿Qué dijo tu amigo que hizo ayer? What did your friend say he did yesterday? Dieciséis. ¿Qué dijiste que hiciera tu madre o padre? What did you tell your mom or dad to do? Diecisiete. ¿Qué se te olvidó recientemente? What did you forget recently? Dieciocho. ¿Qué es más interesante? Family Guy o Simpsons. Y diecinueve. ¿Qué harás mañana? What will you do tomorrow? Y 20, ¿qué haces ahora? What are you doing right now? So those are the 20 questions. What I would like you to do, if you want to, is uh, open up this document. You can try and handwrite some answers out, see if you get them right. And I'm going to start going over the answers in about five seconds. So pause the video if you want to do that, because here come the answers. Just got to fix something on one of them first. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so I'll just read you my answer, and then if um, you get one wrong or you're not sure how I came up I came up with my answer, then maybe just leave a comment and I will explain it to you. 
Uh, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll tell you what grammar concept we're using each one, okay? So, you know, uh, you can use sig year to kind of like the present progressive, like a star, what people are doing and what people are continuing to do right now. So that's what this is. Sigo estudiando el español y las matemáticas. Dos, this is the past progressive. Uh, yo estaba mirando Desperate Housewives y Jersey Shore. Tres. This one we're using the, kind of the subjunctive versus the indicative. My answer A is in the subjunctive. No, no conozco a nadie que sepa hablar 20 idiomas. And B is in the indicative. C. Sí. Conozco a alguien que sabe hablar 20 idiomas. Cuatro. This is using the uh, imperfect with the imperfect subjunctive. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. With the plu the Plucon perfecto, the, the past perfect subjunctive. Uh, so my answer is, esperaba que ellos se hubieran graduado. I was hoping that they had graduated. Cinco. It's using the imperfect. Cantaba mientras me duchaba. So I was, I was singing while I was showering. Seis. Uh, this is using the imperfect subjunctive with the conditional uh, perfect. Uh, si me dieras dinero, si lo habría donado a la gente sin hogar. If you gave me money, I would have given it to the homeless. Siete. Mi casa es roja. ¿Cómo es la tuya? Uh, this is possessive adjectives uh, in the long form. Uh, la mía es blanca. Mine is white. Ocho. ¿Qué hiciste ayer? This is using the preterite. Uh, te hice una torta y compré boletos para el cine. I made you a sandwich and I bought tickets for the movie theater. Nueve. Dentro de cinco días, ¿te habrás graduado? Within five... I already told you what I meant. Uh, two answers, yes or no. No, no me habré graduado. Oh, this is the future perfect, by the way. Uh, sí, me habré graduado. Diez. ¿Quieres dar dinero a tu amigo? Uh, so respond with two pronouns, a direct and an indirect. Uh, two possible answers, a yes or a no, and there are two ways you can do each of the yes or no's. So, sí, se lo quiero dar. O, sí, quiero dárselo. Yes, I want to give it to him. Or B, no, no se lo quiero dar. No, no quiero dárselo. I don't want to give it to him. Once. Después de graduarte, ¿qué son las primeras cosas que vas a hacer? Uh, so, after graduating, what, oh, primero voy a viajar y voy a festejar. First, I'm going to travel and I'm going to uh, celebrate. Doce. We're using nominal, nominalization on these ones here. If you aren't sure about that, just search YouTube for Senor Bellas nominalization and you can learn it. Uh, pre, prefiero las de acción. I prefer the action ones. Trece. Again, with nominalization. Hice la de español. I did the Spanish. Uh, 14. Uh, let's see, we're using the present tense subjunctive. Uh, mis maestros quieren que yo les escuche y que esté preparado cuando llego. Uh, my teachers want me to listen to them and that I be prepared when I arrive. Uh, 15. We're using the uh, preterite, retorted speech, I believe. Dijo que fue al zoológico y que comió en el restaurante local. He said he went to the zoo and that he ate in the local restaurant. Uh, 16. Que dijiste que... Oh, okay. Uh, we're using the uh, imperfect subjunctive here. Uh, dije que mi padre me diera dinero para el baile. I told my dad to give me money for the dance. Okay, pues, uh, número 17. For this one, we're using the uh, se, the pronoun se, for unplanned occurrences. Uh, se me olvidó de preparar para el examen oral. So, I forgot to prepare for the oral exam. 18, just using comparisons. Que es más... Oh, el español es más interesante que el inglés. Spanish is more interesting than English. Uh, number 19, we're using uh, 19, the future tense. Mañana descansaré e iré de compras. Uh, y número 20, we're using the present tense of Spanish, probably something that you learned quite a while ago. Termino este examen y respondo a sus preguntas. I am finishing this test and I am answering your questions. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I got 20 questions there. You probably answer, if you're my student in my class, uh, probably around like 6 or so randomly with me, so prepare for all of them. If you have any questions about any, any of my questions or something that doesn't make sense to you or want further explanation of one of the grammar concepts I use, just let me know and I can either answer your question or I can uh, shoot you over to a video that will answer your question. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.